back guys welcome to k motion kids ministry from destiny church today we're going to go on a little trip and the story we need to tell is way back 2000 years ago so we're going to take a little trip back in time i'll see you on the other side whoa i like totally did not go back far enough oh dear Still not far enough. Ah, uh, they went too far. That's more like it. Now here we are, in the time of Jesus. Let's let our story begin. Jesus spent his days teaching others, showing them how to love others and how to reach out to God. When he was 30 to 33 years old, he kept close to his 12 disciples, the, his friends. They all traveled from town to town and from city to city, telling everyone that God loved them and the Messiah, um, the Savior, was here. Jesus wanted as many people to know about God God's love as he could. He did miracles like healing the sick, the blind, and, and walking on water. Most of the Pharisees and the other religious leaders did not like Jesus because he was telling them the truth and it wasn't the same as the rules they were used to following. But Jesus followed God's rules more than he followed other people's rules. Jesus started telling the people he was the Messiah they were waiting for. A lot of people were excited. When he came riding into town, they treated him like an earthly king. They waved palm branches and placed their coats on the ground for his donkey to ride over, but not the Pharisees. They just wanted a reason to get rid of Jesus. Jesus kept teaching people the truth, God's truth. Since Jesus was God's son, God told him many things. He spent lots of time talking to his father, God, so he knew about the plans he had for his life. The events that were about to take place, he knew about those too. Jesus knew he had to die soon so that all of the people on earth could live in heaven one day. So Jesus had a meal with his disciple friends and told them to remember him when he was gone. He told them that one of them was going to betray him and he would have, um, and he would have to leave. Then he took time to wash all of their feet to show them how important it is to serve each other. Then Jesus went to the garden to pray. He needed strength and peace from God for what was to happen. He asked God if there was any other way to save all the people so he wouldn't have to suffer, but he knew the answer. So he said, not my will, but your will be done. He meant, I'll do whatever you want me to, because he loved us so much, and God loved us so much, he gave Jesus up for us. Judas was the friend that took money to tell the religious leaders where Jesus was. The soldiers came to arrest Jesus that night in the garden. They took him, and then they beat him, and they hung him on a cross next to two other men. He died on that cross, and the whole earth shook. The veil was torn, and we were forgiven. It was finished. Good morning. Um, we are going to do show and tell with Miss Beth. Firstly, we're going to make a dessert. We have crescent rolls, marshmallows, cinnamon and sugar, and melted butter. I like to call these resurrection rolls. Um, we're firstly going to start with a marshmallow. It's white and pure, just like Jesus was. He was clean of blemish. He was perfect, just the way he was, right? Jesus never sinned. He never had anything yucky um, come upon him because he made the right choices and he was he he was partly God and so he knew what was right and what was wrong and he always chose the right thing. Uh, Jesus was without blemish until 
he took all of our sins upon him. He was um, chosen by God and sent by God to, to this earth, to be set in this earth, um, and to be tempted and tested, and he remained pure and white. Um, and then he went to the cross, and when he came to that cross, he made a choice to take all of our sin, all of our yuck, all of our mistakes, all of the things that would keep us from being um, seen as holy in the sight of God, and he took it upon himself. He then became um, a sacrificial lamb for us. Um, when he died on that cross, and he was placed into a tomb, and we're going to use these crescent rolls and make a tomb um, when he folded, he was encupping, he was encased, he was covered, he was buried in that tomb. When his earthly body had passed away, his friends were sad, his mother was sad. He had told them many times that he was going to have to die for them, that it was part of the plan. They did not understand that he had to leave when he was God's son, the Messiah. So he he went in this tomb and they rolled the stone and they sealed it shut and they set guards out front to keep watch to make sure nobody would go and take his body. Three days later. Now after three days, um, Jesus' friends went back again like they had every day um, to the tomb to mourn and um, and to visit and they got there and today was different today the tomb was not closed it was open and they went inside and there was nothing inside the tomb Jesus was not there he had risen he was alive again and that my friends is why we celebrate on Easter the tomb is empty and he is alive three days later he was alive he went to see his friends and let him know what to do next even though he wasn't going to be on earth with them, he was sending a helper for them, and they needed to keep telling everyone to believe in God, tell everyone that Jesus was God's son, and tell them to follow his commandments. After he'd spent a few days with his disciples, he left them and rose up into heaven to be with God his Father. I'm home. Huh, that was a fun trip back in time, but I'm glad to be back safe in my backyard. Um, I'm also so glad to know that Jesus loves me so much that he made that choice to be um, sacrificed and give up his life for me and for you and for everyone we know today on this earth and our grandparents and our great grandparents and people that lived a thousand years ago that he loved each one of us that much and God loved us so much and he still loves us so much and all we have to do to have his love all of the time is just ask all we have to do is ask it's that simple and I'm so glad that he has done that for us and right now I want to give you a chance to ask if you've never done that before some of you may have known jesus for a very long time and some of you maybe never heard of that dude jesus right and this is your first time but i want you to know that um all you have to do is ask and so if you would like to pray with me today um and ask jesus to be your friend and let him know that you love him all you have to do is ask so i'm just going to lead a simple prayer and you can pray along with me if you so wish Father God, we just love you and we thank you. And thank you so much for sacrificing yourself for me and for my friends and for my family. 
Lord, we just um, know what a big thing that was, and we thank you for doing that for us so that all my sin can be washed away, and you can look at me with a pure heart, Lord, and I thank you for that forgiveness that I do not deserve. Lord, I pray right now that you would just cover us with your love. Lord, I'm so happy to be part of your family. Um, we love you and we praise you in Jesus' name. Amen. Be that easy. All you have to do is ask. And if you just want to keep getting to know Lord Jesus, you just have to keep talking to him. It's as easy as praying and reading the Bibles, because those are the words he left here on this earth for us. And you just keep getting to know him more and more and more. I'm so glad you came to join me today. Um, and be part of our K-Motion Kids ministry. And um, the fun's not over yet. Uh, I have a link attached at the bottom of this video if you want to go ahead and get your parents to help you and print out a scavenger hunt for Easter. It's all things that are in your house already, so it's really simple to do. Um, and then we, I would just be, I'm just so glad you joined us today, and we will see you next time at K-Motion.